Currently, when we monitor patients on the wards, they have most of them will have intermittent um, observation. So they'll have uh, one to four hourly heart rates and respiratory rates and, and saturation levels. And what we're worried about is that patients actually can deteriorate in between those observations. So what we'd like to do is to have um, monitoring of patients um, more continuously. The life touch sensor and the um, patient status engine, they help us to do that. The idea of having sort of wireless uh, monitoring end to end is the way forward. Um, it's, it's the obvious way to scale safer care so that you have uh, lots of cheap um, reusable sensors and very few expensive monitors. That is obviously, and that's, that's, that those economics will, will hold true in any environment. And, um, but this gives us the opportunity for us to offer it to more children. Um, so that we can we can catch those moments when they are deteriorating and intervene. We don't want any avoidable um, uh, cardiac arrest or death um, in hospitalised patients. Fortunately, those events are fairly rare, but we need to extend our monitoring in order to capture those those rare events. So yes, it could be the difference between life and death. There's no problems with loads of wires hanging out. So it's more comfortable and nicer for parents to actually pick up their child. I mean, having the, the live touch on him will be obviously less wires. It'll be easier to, to manoeuvre him as well. And uh, to be a parent, to, to pick him up and put him down and just, just to play with him. So it'll be a, it's a cracking idea. Children themselves, if you ask them, they all want they want wireless monitoring. Okay, they don't want to be wired up to monitors. They want to walk around. They want to go to school, go to the playroom, um, go to the canteen. You know, they they want to be really mobile. Uh, these technologies have the potential to help the system uh, bring these benefits to more and more patients so that fewer people have to go to hospital, have to queue, have to go through the system and we can, de we can develop more healthcare from home, more uh, telemetry, more Skype, more wireless and allow patients uh, with non-acute conditions to be monitored more conveniently and to take more responsibility for our own conditions. Well, this project is a great example of how we join up the support we provide at Department of Business through Innovate UK's uh, support for this company and this wireless technology and the support we provide at the Department of Health through the National Institute for Health Research. Uh, it's joined up government across business and Department of Health and the support that Innovate UK provide to emerging companies and technologies is crucial if we're going to make sure that we have here in the UK these technologies developed for us to use in our health system.